All right, all right. Yeah, <laughs> what's up? Prospector Phil. And I got the fancy dancy five gallon solar shower with the funny guy and he's just like hugging it. Says it's five gallons or what's that say? 18.9 liters. Yeah, right. If you're going like this, about like that, that looks more like a gallon and a half, maybe two gallons. So what's that, like six, seven liters max? And it's, never mind, I'm not even gonna say it. It's Tarmart brand, tarmart.com. So they've got a few things that work out okay. Most of their stuff, it just doesn't work. It looks like it'll work, and that's about as far as they go. So let's open this up. Looks like I got my bag here. Got some other goodies in there. Okay, there's my bag. Let's see, is this five gallons? Yeah, that, that might. That could, that could hold three or four. So, quick, do the math, guys. What's that, like 14 liters? Four gallons? Just over 14? Yeah, that actually, if you fill it all the way up, that might hold five gallons. Says it does, but just, I mean, it's Walmart. So just because it says it does, doesn't mean it does. And it looks like that lid there is kind of, kind of stupid. That's gonna break eventually. So we got our bag here and we got our spout that work so we're gonna fill this up and, and see test it out I got a bent tube I got a piece of PVC a little bit of rope and a knobby thing I'm not exactly sure what the knobby thing is for <laughs> Just so I can go like this. Ah, oh, look at my back. Look at my knobbies. Okay, the rope just came undone. That's a stupid freaking hook. That, whatever you can hook that on, can't even hook it on a stick that large. You gotta hook it on a stick like that. And I'm sorry, what's water weigh? Eight pounds per gallon. This would be a 40 pound bag. It would go like that. So that hook is completely worthless. At least we can tie knots. Um, oh, I see. So you take this. Once we get the kinks out of the holes, it'll go right there. And if you get too much water flow, I guarantee that's going to come off. That doesn't go on very easy. Okay. Well, at least it does go on. So that'll go on there. Then we got our kinks in our hose. So the water's not going to come out till we unkink the hose. And then we got our plug at the end. So we can go bink. Maybe. Oh my gosh. Okay, we can't go bink right now. So I'm just gonna take that hose off. We'll deal with that later. I'm gonna tie some real knots, get rid of this hook. But first, I gotta fill this up with waters. Then need some waters in it. And luckily, over here, other side of the tent, I got some waters. Look at that, that's a nice river. Nice, pretty rivers. I don't want to go down there again, guys. I've been getting crazy down there. I'll find another spot. Let's fill this up, tie the rope on. Tap oh, that out. yeah. Much better spot. This will work. So let's see, we got our baggage here. And I don't know if I should set the phone down. I'm gonna try and fill that up somehow. Okay, I'm gonna set the phone over here. Oh, don't go away. Don't go bye-bye. We set the phone 
run over here. You know, I want to go down by the river. Tripods. Broken tripods. Okay. There we go. We will try that. Let's see if I can fill this in. Yeah. Oh, and look. <laughs> That's what I was afraid of right there. Freaking nozzle. It's like... Look where... It's leaking. If it's Walmart brand, it'll look like it works. But that doesn't mean it does. Look at that. It's, I don't even know how that's leaking. Okay, so they didn't screw the lid on. For the nozzles. That's kind of better. Let's see. Come on, nozzles. You can do it. Yay! There's my showers. Is that all I get? Don't mind me, just don't mind me. Just letting some waters out. Talk to a man about a horse, water, plants. Okay, I might need a better way to fill this. Cause this don't work very well. Yeah, that method will never get it full. I'm gonna grab something that I can fill with water and then just dump in there. So, it's kinda cool, you can see on the back how much water you got in there. Not very much, doing that way. Let me grab, uh, I'll grab a pan or something. Try and fill it that way. See what happens. Okay. Um, got my buckets from this place. Probably be easier with a pan. I'll use a bucket. I don't care. So we got that much water. Let's see how long it's going to take to fill this. I'll just kind of do that. Almost half the bucket's full. Just gonna be silly, guys. Gonna be silly. Luckily, I don't have to worry about spilling. Cause who cares if I spill right here? I don't always get more water. Just get in there, guys. You can do it. Not that hard. Get in there. Get in there. Okay, this is a little bit awkward. If I had a funnel, it'd be easy. Not too bad. Good filling. Yeah, that works. Let's just keep it going. You know what? This might be five gallons. That was about two or two and a half gallons. Probably spilled a half a gallon on the ground. Yeah, that's better. That ain't too bad. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's already like 15 pounds at least. 
Okay. Try again. And we'll just do the same thing. I'm just gonna fill this up however much I can. Whoopsie. Whoopsie getting crazy. Rip. Got more water in the bucket this time. Spilled a lot more water. That's okay. That's okay. I'm gonna switch it. I don't care if I spill because I'll make a mess out here and always get more water. It's right there. Okay. Let's do this time. Oh my gosh. That'll hold five gallons. I'm surprised. The size it looked, it seriously looked like it might hold two. Okay, one more time. I don't want to get it too heavy because I'm worried about that cord breaking when it's hanging, because five gallons gonna be 40 pounds. And I don't know if that'll hold. But look, we're gonna have a shower soon. We're gonna get nice and clean, nice and fresh. Gonna pull it up a bit, spill some more waters. There you go. There you go. Okay. Yes. All right. Holy crap. Okay, maybe I am gonna fill it up because my gosh, I do not like this cap right here. I don't trust it. Okay. Let's see now. Yeah. No, I can feel that wants to break. Right there and right there. It just, it does not want to hold. Get much liquid. And I still, even with all the water, that's the max flow I get. Okay, that's dumb. Shower, more like a drizzle. But look, we got it mostly full. It's probably, probably about between 30, 35 pounds. Not quite full. So I'm uh, just gonna find a spot to hang it. We'll hang it in the sun where I can get naked. Yeah, yeah, and uh, <laughs> and then we'll let it heat up and we'll see because really what I want is warm water. So if I can get enough warm water to, to wash myself off, wash my hair and whatnot, it'll be worth the, this costs $8.97 plus tax. So if it works, and this part doesn't break because it feels like it wants to. Totally worth it. Otherwise, typical Walmart product. Looks like it'll work, but doesn't. So let me find a spot to hang it and then go from there. Okay, we're ready. I do not like this hook at all. This is just moronic so I'm gonna take it off because there's no way that hook is holding that bag I'm sorry so I'm gonna do some normal knots on this and like I said that bag is probably it's not even completely full but it's probably 30 35 pounds uh, what is that come on do the math at least 15 kilograms 
and I don't trust this part at all. I still haven't figured out what this tube is for, but I did, and there's no instructions in the box. There's instructions on the back. I'll read those in a second. But I did realize that's not a plug. That's your shower head. That's funny. So, yeah, I, I guess it's a good thing that didn't quite come out because that's your shower head. I don't think you get a whole bunch of water out of it, but whatever. Let's read the instructions. Make sure tap is turned to off position. Pour water into the bag until it is full. No, you don't want to fill it because it's not going to hold. Attach the tubing and shower head to the tap. Insert the hanging tube into the hole at the top from the back of the bag. Hang the water bag with black front face in the sun. Turn the tap and your shower is now ready to use. Except it doesn't put out hardly any water. So this is how much cordage we got to work with about a meter three feet ish and i'm gonna i'm gonna wrap it around twice yeah i'll wrap it around three times i'm not gonna hurt as much as we can i'll do a quick uh double overhand now i'm gonna show you a new knot that I love. And actually, maybe I shouldn't have used that much, but whatever. Okay, let's move this. I'll show you a new knot. This one holds. You got good enough rope, you can go down a mountain with this knot. It's called a bowline. And you take the, the end of the rope, index finger and middle finger, right in between. You take the other one you stretch it out and go like this see how it just made a quick right quick loop rabbit comes out of the hole it goes around the tree back in the hole that's your bowline that's it but that knot that'll freaking hold anything so if anything's going to break, it's going to be this, this rubberish plastic right here. And my lid is already leaking. Just holding it sideways. So that'll be good. That'll hold. And the nice thing about the bowline is you cinch it up. If you want to take it apart, you just turn it upside down. There's a little loop right there. You can just pull that loop out and that'll open up your knot right there. Otherwise, that's gonna hold. So my knot's not gonna break and I got just enough I can hang it somewhere. So I'm gonna figure out where to hang it. We read the instructions. We got rid of this piece of crap. Still need to kind of unkink my hose. Uh, phrasing. <laughs> I gotta unkink my hose, guys. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna find a spot real quick that's gonna be in the sun and let this warm up and we'll see. And we'll see if it works. See if we get warm water. Yeah. I'm thinking right over there. Not exactly in the sunshine. Yes. Then my back. Ugh. I can feel this. This plastic rubber, it just wants to break. That's heavy bag. And that'll work right there. I'd like to get around that thicker branch because this little one, I don't know if, if that one right there, I don't know if that'll hold. And I, don't know, I can't quite reach it. So we're going to have to leverage. And it's not quite in the sun. Not gonna be in the sun, but at least it'll be a spot where, whoopsies. At least it'll be in a spot where the water will just run off. I don't have to deal with it in camp or anything. 
so we'll just hang it up and see because this is the best spot I got so that's it and I got to do this with two hands so I can't really film it but I'm gonna try for that thick branch let's see on that skinnier one if I can I can't even reach the oops that's not a good sign this will work <laughs> that one would work I can reach that one right there would work but that's like jankies so I don't know I'm gonna string it up and I'm just gonna do a loop around yank it up tie another bowline push, around the tree in the hole Bing. there's your bowline I'll do that real quick and we'll just leave it and see yeah, it's going to be in the shade. Maybe it'll warm up, though. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't work at all. They do not give you near enough cordage to go up. That's about eight feet. Yeah, because I'm six foot. So, shoot, that's, uh, that's pushing three meters. This one, I put it on there, and it goes all the way down here. And so I would have the belly shower and it's leaking on me already. So yeah, we got PVC tubing that's worthless. We got a chunk of string that's freaking worthless. And my knots are coming undone even though they shouldn't. I'm gonna get some paracord. I'm gonna put paracord on that. And uh see if i can get it up higher because yeah that's just under three meters right there and that's about where i need it because i don't need a belly showers i need a shower showers if i've got it down at like three feet off the ground right down here what's that gonna do i wash my feet i can, I can go wash my feet right there oh look me no trap Yay. Okay. So this has some uh, definite design flaws. And when I hung it too, it was leaking. So if you leave it hanging, it's gonna leak. You're gonna lose your water. So let me grab some paracord, get rid of this worthless piece of crap and uh, try again. Actually, I think what I'll do because the only spot I can find that's going to be worthwhile is a shower is in the shade and it's going to be in the shade all day. So I come over here. Look at this. There's the sunshine. I'm going to put it right here. And you can see that lid like I was worried about. It's been leaking on me. So I'm going to leave that right there. And then later, I'll attach paracord and string it up and we'll see. And I'm really worried about the water flow because it just seemed piddly worthless. So we won't get much water, but hopefully right here in the sun with a black bag, it'll at least warm the water up. So at least we can get some washing done. Yeah. One more quick note. Part of the reason I bought this, besides doing the demo, is because this water, it's like probably 40 to 45 degrees Fahrenheit. It's like hypothermia level. What is that? Let's see, that would be about oh, four and a half to maybe seven-ish degrees centigrade Celsius, whatever. Boy, I wish we could all just use the same measuring system. <laughs> the metric system is so much easier. So, yeah, like four degrees Celsius, guys, four and a half degrees. And that's like hypothermia level. You do not want to be in that very long. So that's part of why I'm doing this is because I'm hoping that this is going to be more than four degrees. Look at that. Hello, little guy. <laughs> spank <laughs> I gotta spank my bag 
Oh, my phrasing's terrible today. Let me find a spot to hang this. Well, hopefully my neighbor's generator isn't too loud, but this is as quiet as it gets in this spot, because it just, meh, <laughs> whatever. So here's exactly what I was afraid of. Guessing no good. I had to move the bag a couple times. And you gotta be careful with the bag. You don't wanna drag it on the ground. I'm sure it would just tear this underside here. That'll tear on all the little stickies and stuff. The other thing I realized that's funny, and I've left the tube out, so it's a little bit better. It got warmed up, but it's still kinked, and I hate that. But this is funny, because this is, so uh, it's about two feet long, two and a half feet, something like that, but thick. So if the bag is at nose level, then you got about two and a half feet down. What are you gonna, what are you gonna be washing down here? Um, your knees? Yeah, something like that. So I got paracord on here. The bag itself is pretty warm. It's been in the sun all day. So I'm gonna string it up. This is worthless. This is completely worthless. This is about three feet worth of some nylon cord that's like super slick. It doesn't want to hold knots and you aren't going to be able to string this up as high as you want. Anyway, so I've replaced this string. I don't like this at all. It don't work. And I put some dollar store paracord on there and I got about 12 feet worth so I can string it up nice and high. I got basically the same knot. Did a few extra loops right there, but then I just got got my bow line there so that that'll hold it and the other thing to show you real quick besides the fact it's already getting super dusty is I realized why the water flow sucks right there you can see that little tiny slot can we see that yeah <laughs> that's all you get for your water flow is that little tiny slot right there so let's string it up and see what happens. Um, like I said, the bag's warm. Let's check the water real quick. Yeah, there's my water flow. Oh, that's lukewarm. Wait. Oh, now it's chilly. It's not bad, it's better than the creek. We'll string it up real quick and see. Um, so far, me, me. Yeah, it's better than freezing in the in the river, but um, we'll see if this can redeem itself. I have a feeling this might be a two-handed operation. Kind of stringing it up like I would a food bag in bear countries. And if I pull on this one. Oh, yeah, this that's gonna be two-handed. I can't string it up with one hand. That's even if I do, even if I do this. <sighs> nope. Okay, so I'm gonna have to lift it with one hand and pull with the other and try and get it up there and hope the neighbors shut up long enough I can finish the videos. Yay. There we go. Just as high as I can get it. <laughs> My head, at six feet, comes about to right there. And I don't like how that points. I guess that's why they give you the tubes. And I've just got that tied with a tension knot right there. But you can tell before we open that nozzle. Hold on. Risk it climbing. Oops. Oh, that bugs me feels like the whole thing just wants to come down on you. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, it's lukewarm. That's not too bad. That works. That's way better than the water. Than the river, I mean. Ooh. Yeah, that's, uh, that's just over lukewarm. That's actually nice. Let me uh, turn that off. 
I almost wonder if I open up that lid, if it'll give more airflow and we'll get a little more flow down here. But I'm going to put the tubes on, dude. I'm going to put a tube on. And this tube will be, be nice and nice if I can do this one handed. And I can't. I don't freaking do anything one handed when I'm filming. Oh. I've got the tubes on. Yeah. And even with the bag, it's over my head. It's It's got to be at least six and a half feet up. So over two meters high, which was kind of a pain. And if I didn't have this tree with the little steppy spot there, I, uh, I probably couldn't have got it up that high. It's kind of a pain when you're, you're lifting that much, especially with just a piece of paracord. And the rope that came with it, the little nylon cord, forget about it. I see a little bit of water leaking. Let's turn it on. Oh, there we go. Hey, awesome. Ow, ow. Owie. I just got bit. Oh, that's, that's nice. That's actually, ooh, I like it. I like it. Hold on. I need to wash up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so old. Oh, man. My hair is so crazy. But it's nice and clean. I got my hair clean. I got my upper body clean. I can wash the unmentionables tomorrow. And uh, let's see. So here it is. I'm worried that bag is not going to hold. I'm going to have to pull that bag down. And where I'm at right now, it's in the shade. You can see this is about, about the height I've got with the bag where it is so that I kind of knew this do a whole lot of it and once that tube's full that tube's gonna kind of kind of be leaking some waters so it uh that was nice a lot better than I expected from the first but oh my gosh that uh That'll work. Even if I only get a couple showers out here, it's worth the cost. I'm going to pull it down real quick. I don't want to leave that in the tree because I don't think it'll hold forever. Let me switch the camera real quick. We'll finish this video. Oh, look, nice and scrubby, but clean scrubbies. All right, one more view. We got, I don't know, it's 5.30, 6 o'clock at night. Got the sun over there, but we really don't have enough light or heat on the bag to leave it there and warm it which means I'll have to pull it and leave it on the ground in the sun if I want warm water and I still do not like that part right there that's gonna break I can tell that's gonna break but I was able to wash up and look I've got over half of the bag left as far as the water goes. So if I could find a spot that this was in the sun, I could use it at least twice, two and a half times with the water in there. I could also drain the water and then leave it up there, but then I gotta fill it again, put it in the sun, yada, yada. So it uh, took a lot of effort. I wasn't really sure, but oh my gosh, when you're out camping and you can get a somewhat warm shower, and I mean, it wasn't like blazing hot, but it was better than lukewarm. I give it a notch and a half above lukewarm and definitely, definitely better than that right there. Cause that's like way too chilly. It's just a nice. So let me pull that down real quick. Finish the video. Okay. I'll leave that right there for now. I'm going to put that back out in the sun and string it back up that's how high it was right there but i just i worry about this right here i don't know maybe that's what the pvc tube is for i think it's supposed to go over a branch but it's way too skinny for that but if you put it in there before you tie your knot maybe that'll kind of keep it from ripping 
but eventually that's gonna gonna rip and tear and then I'll have to start tying knots on the corners if I'm gonna use this but let's walk back over to the box that'll stay right there that'll be good come back over to the box and I'll finish this up so in the box I don't know what that's for I don't need that this rope nylon string completely worthless this little hook that was on the end of that can you imagine putting that on is you can't even put it on that stick right there it'd have to be a stick like, like this size you could even get it on a stick like that size and guess what 30 35 pounds <laughs> it ain't gonna hold that you need a freaking branch and yeah, look, I just realized they got a big branch right there. They don't even show that little PVC tube in the picture. At least the guy is happy. He's really happy. He loves this bag. And I'll tell you what, I was really skeptical at first until I used it. And the water flow was good. It was actually fairly warm. Uh, well, not really warm, but warm enough. And for the price, and just uh, the bigger thing was, uh, it was just a morale boost. That's it, I, for, I think I said $8.97 for this little thing. Uh, once you collapse it down, it, it won't take up a lot of space. Pretty basic, I don't know how long it'll last, but the morale factor alone when you're out camping in the woods and you can wash yourself up get all nice and clean and fresh boy that's worth it right there so even if if i only get two or three showers out of this i uh, i still think it's worth it and it sucks they can't make something that's going to last longer because you can see this photoshop there's no way that right there is holding 40 pounds worth of water you saw mine that's fake but all in all I would say go for it this one is a big thumbs up for the morale factor alone for the warm water slightly warm water and just to clean yourself up out in the woods clean up your nether regions and your pits and uh, wash your hair so Big thumbs up on this. It's cheap. It works. And yeah, it took me all day waiting around to, to get it to warm up, but totally worth it. So thanks again for watching and uh, like and subscribe as always. Love you guys. And I'll make more videos soon.